Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 8.3, Area of Circles. Today we're going to be looking for nine things to write down in our notes, so let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing we want to write down is the formula for area of a circle. How you find the area of a circle is you always do pi times radius squared. I'm going to write this a little bit clearer so you can see that. Um, what that means is essentially you're taking pi and doing radius times radius. A lot of people get confused and try to do radius times 2, and that is incorrect. You do not want to do radius times 2. It's radius squared, so it's radius times itself. So to find area, you only need the radius. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video and copy the formula and what you see here on the screen, and once you're done, click play to go on. So the first one, we're going to find area of the circle, and we're going to use pi for um, or 3.14 for pi. So essentially you're just taking your formula, pi times radius squared, and filling it in. 3.14 times 7 times 7, since 7 is the radius. Once I type that into my calculator, 3.14 times 7 times 7, I'm going to get 153.86 centimeters squared. Okay. Sometimes you're going to be given a diameter, like this in number 2, so just be careful when you're solving this one. Again, let's go ahead and pause the video now so you can try number 2 on your own, and once you're done, click play. Alright, so what you should have done is gotten your area is equal to pi times radius squared. That's 3.14 times 13 times 13. And once you fill that in, you should get 530.66 inches squared. How did you do? Here's another one that you're going to try, except it's just a word problem. Again, go ahead and pause the video. Once you're done trying it, click play to check your work. So for this one, still using your area formula of pi times radius squared. So it's 3.14 times 14 times 14. Since your diameter is 28, you should have cut it in half. Once you've multiplied those numbers together, you should get 615.44 meters squared. The next few questions are just a review, so let's go ahead and pause the video now and read the question. Once you're done answering the question, go ahead and click play to check your work. So for this one, if you want to figure out how much a rotation is on a tire, how long the tire rotation is, you'd want to find C, the circumference of the tire. Go ahead and try number five as well. Again, pause it, and once you're done reading it and trying it, click play. For number five, you'd want to know the diameter for the height of the tire, because remember, diameter goes all the way through a circle. The next portion of our notes is how to find the area of a semicircle, and you actually should be able to try this one on your own. Um, just make sure that you see that there, the diameter is 30 feet for this um, semicircle, so think about what you need to do to that and then also what you need to do once you're done finding the area. So let's go ahead and pause it to see if you can find your answer first, and once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so the very first thing you should have done was use your same formula, pi times radius times radius, and making sure that you use 15 as your radius. When you do pi times 15 times 15, you're gonna get 706.5, but since this is a semicircle, you're going to divide it by 2, and so we'll get 353.25 feet squared. How'd you do? Here are two more that you're going to try. Again, let's go ahead and pause the video now. Once you're done trying both 7 and 8, go ahead and click play to check your work. So for number 7, you should have 3.14 times 4 times 4, and then divide it by 2. When you do 3.14 times 4.4, you get times 4 times 4, you get 50.24. And then when you cut that in half, you get 25.12 meters squared. Okay? Same thing for number 8. You need to use half of 90, so we're going to use 45 as the radius. So 3.14 times 45 times 45. And then we'll divide it by 2. When we do this first part, 3.14 times 45 times 45, we get a big number, 6,358.5. And then when we cut it in half, we get 3,179.25, and that'll be feet squared. How'd you do for those? The last one you're going to try, and um, this one is a little bit different. Notice that the only section we're finding is that yellow section, and that's one-fourth of the circle. So what I'd like for you to do is go ahead and take time now to pause the video and just think about how would you find the area of just the yellow portion 
And then how would you find the area of the portion that's not yellow? Okay, so what, maybe one way you can do this. You're still going to use your area formula, but since this is one-fourth of the circle, because you see how we have one-fourth here, one-fourth here, one-fourth, and one-fourth, we're going to divide everything by four to find one-fourth of the circle. So that would be 3.14 times 3 times 3, and then divided by 4. So 3.14 times 3 times 3 is going to be 28.26, but when we divide that by 4, we're going to get 7.065, and that'll be inches squared. Okay. The portion that's not yellow, that one is just going to be three of those. So maybe something I did is I took 7.065 and multiplied it by 3 because there are three sections of the portion that's not yellow. And I just found one section, so that should be easy. If I multiply that by 3, I'm going to get 21. 0.195 inches squared. Some of you maybe you've even have, maybe even did this. You took the area of the full circle, 28.26, and then subtracted the yellow part, minus 7.065, and you still are able to get 21.195. Okay, that's all gonna that's all our notes are gonna be for today. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.